The table here is uh, representing how many new people are infected every hour. So obviously if every person infects two other people, then the number of people infected every hour is going to increase by a factor of two. Okay, so we started with Mike here, he infected his two friends, then they infected their two friends. So 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. It looks like everybody had that for the most part. Okay, and then you get the graph from that. You again see that this is exponential growth. Um, what would be our function this time, though? What would be our function this time? It's not 3 to the x. What would it be? Oh, x times 2. Mm -hmm. What would you say? X times 2. Times 2? Yeah, we multiply by 2 every time. So our function this time, the base is... Two. So our function here for the new people infected by the flu would be 2 to the x. Now, uh, the next question says, uh, if the school has 1,000 students enrolled, what percentage of the student body has the flu by 3 p.m.? Now, look like most everybody had an answer, but it wasn't 25 and let's talk about why 25.5 is the correct answer. Probably, I think most of you did what? 128 divided by 1,000, right? You got 12.8. Okay, that's not correct because this is representing how many people were infected in that hour. It's not the total number of people infected. Let's go back to the very beginning. At 9 a.m., when Mike infects his two friends, how many people are infected with the flu? Three people are infected with the flu. That's not the value we have in our table because the table is just representing how many new people were infected. So we've got three people at 9 a.m. At 10 a.m., they, uh, the two new people infect two more new people each, so we add four people to that, so how many total people are infected with the flu? Seven, All right? So we've got three people with the flu, then we have seven people with the flu. How many people are going to have at 11? We have seven that have it. They, eight new people are infected, so how many total people are infected with the flu? 15. Y'all see what I'm doing? I'm adding these numbers up. So 16 new people get it, so then there are 31. 32 new people get it, so now there are 63. 64 new people get it, so now there's 127. And then 128 new people get it, so what is that, 255? So there are 255 people that are infected therefore 25.5% divided by the 1000. Okay, so this one this one was a little tricky and really mean to like trip you up with it. Um, but You've got to recognize what the table is representing. The table is representing the number of new people infected. This is asking how many total people are infected by a certain time. So we've got to add all those numbers up. And it just shows how many were infected in that most recent hour. Okay? All right. Uh, let's flip the paper over and look at the cicada. Uh, problem. Okay, this is talking about the population of cicadas. Uh, those annoying things that you hear in the summertime that make that loud racket. Which they do reproduce very, very quickly. This is saying that they double every week. And then you need to complete the table and don't look at my answers yet. I wasn't paying attention to that. 
So the answer to A, after two weeks, you're going to have 12,000 cicadas. After five weeks, you're going to end up with 96,000 cicadas. Now, part C asks, well, if we begin with 3,000, how many will we have after X weeks? So it wants you to express this in a general form. So we've got to come up with an expression here. Now, obviously, we're multiplying by 2 every time, okay? So, we've got part of it. We're going to have a base of 2, but 2 to the first is not 6,000, okay? we got to multiply by something else. So, what do we multiply 2 by to get 6,000? 2 times what is 6,000? 3,000, okay? Um, 2 squared is 4. That's not 12,000, but what can we multiply 4 by to get 12,000? 3,000. Um, we can do it again here. 2 cubed is 8. What do we multiply 8 by to get 24,000? 3,000. So, your general uh, form here should be, and it, it just kind of written, is your number of weeks, exactly. Now, um, something to be mentioned here. You cannot multiply 3,000 and the 2 to get 6,000. Okay? Because that 2 has an exponent, you cannot multiply 3,000 times 2 and get that that should be written as 6,000 to the x. Okay? That's just kind of a side note there. Um, because the 2 has an exponent, you can't combine it. Unless it also has an exponent. Okay. Um, now it looked like everybody got D. Okay. Three weeks for 24,000 cicadas. That comes straight off your table. Now, when we get to E though, E asked for uh, 20,000 cicadas. Well, I think a lot of people, I, I saw a few people wrote three. Um, I saw a few people said almost three, two weeks, and a little bit extra. Um, because when you look at your table, 20,000 falls between the value at two weeks and the value at three weeks. So we know that it's got to be somewhere between two and three weeks. Um, so, yeah, I would... I would Throw a guess in there. I'd say, well, what about 2.5? What about 2.5? Um, does that work? So now that we have our general form, I'm going to plug in 2.5 and see how close that gets me. Uh, not quite enough. Okay. Well, what about maybe 2.75? Let's go a little bit bigger. A little bit closer to 3. Well, that puts me a little bit over. So maybe I just need 2.7. Okay. Right now, I'm just guesstimating. Okay. There is a way to solve this, um, but uh, this is just kind of getting in the general ballpark. So based on that answer, the exact answer should be somewhere between 2.7 and 2.75. Because 2.7 is not quite enough, 2.75 is a little bit too much. Um, so the exact answer has got to be somewhere between there. Um, and really, I'm good with that approximation. And uh, according to this, the exact answer is 2.7 weeks 7. Weeks. Now, of course, that one's going to be rounded as well. Um, 